You saw the panel. Yes. So what did you take back from the panel? Let's start there. Uh, well, I took back that there's a real opportunity uh, in this space that we um, we see more and more people that look like us in the pet industry, but still not enough. Um, I, I think that there's some things that are still missing for us as um, in diversity funding, you know, raising capital and uh, even finding mentorship and networking in, in arenas where we see, you know, people that are that that look like us and that, that come with diverse backgrounds and experiences. To Absolutely. Save. So what I'm getting from you is like through your years, because you, you're like a pioneer now because there's not a lot of, you know, BIPOCs, people of color, of indigenous that own, they own, they created their own product and now it's, they're sourcing and they have it in stores and they want to grow. Like, how was that for you? Like, how did you figured all that out, but was there anyone that were able to help you through this process? So um, it has been a long process and I still feel like I'm taxing, like I still haven't taken off, you know, um, I created the product in 2016 and um, it is based on traditional Chinese medicine. So my product is as diverse as I am. Um, and, and we really are using food as medicine. And it was kind of a difficult um, position to have a product in that space. And what I've noticed though, it's been self-funded. I bootstrapped this product. And there hasn't really been any capital. And, and raising capital, I've seen a lot of companies around me that don't offer the, the clear benefits that mine does um, that have been funded and have really accelerated and been able to take off. So for me, I feel like I don't have the traction that I should have just simply because there hasn't been any capital. So if you see more people that look like you, that have gone through your journey, right, that's, that's made a multi-million dollar, you know, product, like with diversity, diversity brings that because everyone's on the table. Do you think that would be of help to you if you're able to have some form of mentorship from people that look like you? Absolutely. I think okay. because they would see the benefit of it. I think that there's, I don't want to say there's a not discounted, but maybe not taken as seriously as some other products. Um, okay. um, but I think absolutely if we have that sort of uh, representation and inclusion, it wouldn't make a difference. Okay. So I guess my next question is obviously you make products for all pets. They all diverse and cats. Mm -hmm. and, and cats. Yes, absolutely. So how do you speak to that client that doesn't know who you are, but learn about your product, but the message that the, the language is not properly there. Like how do you connect to those people? Cause I know when we talked earlier, you was like, you want to get this into people who can't afford to buy expensive food. Mm -hmm. And usually these individuals are, you know, people of color or, or who just only have limited budget mm -hmm. towards taking care of the animal when it comes to nutrition and food. Like, how do you, how, how do you speak to them? How do you get there? Well, I really just try to share that um, it's really the form that the food is in that really matters for our okay. pets. And that um, what we're trying to do with them is if we can remember about feeding, uh, we feed ourselves a very diverse uh, diverse food every single day. And our okay. pets are, are, are the same way. Nature is the same way. And so what we're, what we're really able to do is like, you want to get pets off the medical merry-go-round. We often see like a lot of, I, I mean, our, our product is kind of very, problem solution focus, but really just nourish nutrient dense focus. So it's about like feeding them functional foods, foods that matter for them. And so I think once I have an opportunity to talk to people about, it doesn't take much, just take something that's kind of like, you don't eat, you know, cereal with no milk, you know, twice a day for 10 years, you, you need to add something to it. And you don't need to add a lot, but you need to add something that makes a difference. And so what I really offer is a really cost effective, versatile way to get these nutrients and foods that have been shown for hundreds of years to make a difference in, in supporting our body's natural healing process. So we function better. So it's really, you know, it's really fixing and pets with food and it's really using food as medicine. It's really just getting us back to wellness that we as people and we as pets really are entitled to. Okay, so being being part of global, what is what are, what benefits have you seen so far? Uh, well, I think I love all the educational platforms, okay. you know, and then the the um, uh, the new um, emerging brands. I haven't seen anything like my product, but you know, um, and I think that that it's I think. This networking event, this is an opportunity for so many of us to come together mm -hmm. um, and and share ideas, products, 
mentorship, um, guidance, you know, and I've learned so much and just, I've been here for like six hours and I feel like it's it's been a six months worth of, of education. Have you talked to manufacturers yet? I have not talked to manufacturers. So you, we got to get you in front of some manufacturers. Okay. All right. How do you go about doing that? What is your game plan? My game plan? Well, I, I spoke to manufacturers last year. I'm just looking around for them. So I will I will approach them. I'll show them my product and see, you know, if they can come manufacture it. It's all yeah. you know, human grade organic. So I have I have I have benchmarks that not have to be met. Okay. Uh, but yeah. yeah, well, this is the place to find them. I think that anyone that you see, no matter where their their race is, um, age, whatever, go and speak to them. Tell them about your product. Show them what you have, because this is a space where you can knock on some doors and get the funding that you're looking for, or the partnership, the right partnership Absolutely. that you need to get your product to the next level. So that next year, this time, your product will be one of the new products on the uh, showcase area. I think. That's where the opportunity is. And it's great to connect in a room like we're in now, but I think there's more opportunity with people that we don't know. So anytime you see or feel like someone makes you feel uncomfortable, introduce yourself, because you don't know who that person is.